Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can search and filter information using Swift UI and a list data type. So we have right here my data view. We're working on my data project specifically to work on this. If you're doing iOS 14 or below, I have a different video you can use to make that happen because it's a different process to actually go through and provide a searchable if you're working with something that's uh, using iOS 14 or before. So the main view right here, the first thing we have to do is we have a couple of data members we have to add to make it so it's searchable. The first one we have is a state private var named search text, which pass a value um, that is a string that's an empty string. Now I'm Mr. Boring, so I always use just easy things to remember and work with, so that's what I'm working with on that. So search text is what I'm working with. We have to have a local version of the data we're working with inside our data store. And so I have a separate variable from my environment object over here of stored buckets, and I have a filtered bucket list results, which is also a list of bucket list item. But we're gonna use a couple closures to get that information so we can filter that information out and then go through and find the things we're looking for. And so I have a couple different examples right here to make that uh, work. And so the first thing we have is my search text value is empty. So if I start off like here where the string has nothing inside it, then I simply return stored bucket dot buckets. Easy way to go. However, if I have typed something into my search field and I have something in my search text variable, then I'm gonna return a stored buckets dot buckets dot filter. So I'm gonna take the buckets inside my list and I'm gonna filter them based on the ones that match the following categories. And so I'm using the or operator here. So if it's any this or this or that or that, so we'll get any of those things on there. So I'm returning stored buckets dot buckets dot filter. If the unnamed parameter, AKA the bucket I'm talking to, if it's goal, and I force it to lowercase. If it contains the text I'm typing, then I return that. Or if the um, bucket I'm talking to, if it's creature's lowercase value contains the text I'm typing, also lowercase, of course. Or if I do a string initialization of the uh, bucket I'm talking to's year matches the text I'm typing. So I can search by year, by creature, or by goal. I'm gonna return that as the filtered results. So it'll match all of that in there. And so that shrinks the list down itself. Now I need to make it so that that list is what I'm looking for inside my actual structure that I'm using to iterate over all the row views I'm working with so I can find those. And that happens over here. And I change my for each instead of using the stored bucket dot buckets like I was using earlier for the first part of this app, I change it to be filled <clears throat> I change that to be filtered bucket list results because that's that variable that has that filtered list of results. And so if I don't have anything in my search, it gives me the whole item. Otherwise it filters it down to match those specific things. Okay, cool. Now I've got it so I can squish those results down. Now I have to introduce the searchable fact. That's really easy. Right here on the bottom of my list itself, I'm just gonna add a dot searchable and I pass the parameter text, the bound value of search text. So that state var I have up here, I reference the bound value so that way it automatically reflects when I change it itself. So I have that value with it and it makes it so I can then filter those results inside my list right here. If I type in 2019, only the 2019 years results right here, if that matches, or if someone had actually typed 2019 in their results, it would actually pull up. And those are the only things that pack, um, are passed through that. I can also type for a specific creature in here. And so if I pick Ifrit, only the Ifrit show up. And if I look, for example, for Pokemon, because one of my students decided that they wanted to have the Pokemon theme song. And there we go, there's the Pokemon theme song with the Jackalope in 2019. And I can have that so it works with that. And so again, to make that happen, the first thing we have to do is we have to have on our list, we have to make it searchable. We pass it the dollar sign uh, search text, which references back to the state value inside our actual for each. We have to use that filtered bucket list results, which is the variable that references the actual data store. And if we have anything that's actually searched for, we then filter results based on that using the unnamed operate, <clears throat> using the unnamed parameter dollar sign zero for that first parameter um, from that stored buckets return. And so that's how we can make it do that. I hope this is helpful. Cheers. See you next time and have a great day. Bye-bye.